In the second part of uh, material science, we are going to just look at metals and their extraction. Usually, uh, active metals such as iron and aluminum, they come in their ores. So this, the red one here is uh, bauxite, which is aluminum oxide, and it's ore, how it looks like. And the one on the right hand side, this is uh, iron oxide uh, ore. What we do is usually crush them and use a blast furnace to reduce them and bring them out as pure element. Uh, we use a carbon in form of coal, generically or scientifically known as coke. Now you should be able to follow this uh, process that I have um, typed it out, but you should be able to write it in chemical equations. So carbon solid, known as coke, is going to be mixed with oxygen at elevated temperature in the blast furnace to give you carbon dioxide. Then what we do is add more carbon to carbon dioxide in the same furnace and we produce carbon monoxide. Now carbon monoxide is ready to reduce iron from iron oxide, so carbon monoxide gaseous plus Fe2O3 solid is going to react, I'm going to have three molecules of carbon monoxide to give you two elemental iron and then three carbon dioxide. Now this iron is ready to be formed into steel or other alloys. One other th thing that could happen is at high temperatures, high enough of temperature, coal directly or carbon directly can reduce iron. So I'm going to produce two iron solid elemental plus this time three carbon monoxide gas, yes. So this is how we extract or purify iron using blast furnace and using coal. You need to be able to write the equations. One of the possibilities which you are used to in oxidation reduction is you can, uh, you can reduce a less reactive metal by a more reactive metal. Zinc, for example, can displace copper from its solution to give you pure copper and zinc sulfate. Now, if you look at copper's oxidation number here, it's plus two. As an element, you're zero. So this is reduction because it goes down. A few other things you should remember from topics past is copper sulfate is blue. And when you come to zinc sulfate, you are transparent. So this is a single displacement, it's oxidation reduction, and a more reactive metal zinc is reducing copper. It's also possible to use hydrogen gas over copper to oxide solid in heated form. And hydrogen behaves like a more active metal and reduces copper and gives you pure copper plus steam, H2O. Then again, if you look at copper, it goes from plus two to zero, being reduced, reduction. And if you look at hydrogen as a pure element is zero, and in form of H2O, it's plus one. So this is oxidation, and hydrogen is the reducing agent, oxidation. Uh, if you are a really reactive metal, you for example, lithium, uh, we cannot displace you with anything else. So for very reactive metals, we need concept of electrolysis. We use electrolysis. And the next uh, few videos, I'm going to elaborate and reinforce what electrolysis was all about.